Hi, my name is Hayley Evers King, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Wekio platform. Wekio is an exciting new facility that allows you to access the full range of Copernicus data that's available through the program, as well as hosted processing resources to help you make the most of this data. So if you visit wekio.eu, this is the website you will see, and this is what will greet you as you first come to this web page. Top left here, you'll see a button called Services, and if you click there, it will give you some more information about what Wekio is all about. This section of the website gives you some information about the infrastructure and about what you can expect if you sign up to be a user of Wekio. So you can see some of the data that is available through Wekio. You can see the sorts of users that we're expecting to be using this portal. In fact, many of them are using it already. You can find out more information about the different types of data, hear about the infrastructure. You can find out about our user support services and about the harmonized data access. And this is a really crucial thing about Wekio as one of the DS systems. It's a, an API, so an application programming interface that you can access both through this web portal, and I'll show you that in a minute, but also um, through uh, code-based functions, through command line, through programming languages like Python, if you're used to working in those. But first of all, to access these services, you need to register. In order to do that, you can go to this button over here at the top, Let's register. You can enter various bits of information about where you're from, about your organization. And to register with Wekio, you can register for free, or you can also register straight away if you know you need it for a more advanced system, uh, which will give you more resources. I'll talk more about that in a minute. We like to know what sort of data you're interested in primarily, so you can select which one's here. But of course, all data sets are available to you through Wekio. So you can fill that in and create your own account. Once you're registered like I am, you can go to the sign in function. It will then take you back to this main page. Now, this looks very similar to what you saw first of all, but it has changed slightly. So on the top left here, you can see this thing called the dashboard. And this is really the center of where your account sits. And you can see here, you know, you can update your uh, profile. You can do some general housekeeping, um, do things like uh, change your password if you need to, change your email address. Um, you can also change your subscription plan through here. This uh, part of the website, the dashboard, actually also gives you um, a lot of information about the functionality that you can use in Wekio. So you see over here, we've got things called subsetting jobs, virtual machines, and the Jupyter Hub. There's also some settings in here as well, which are useful to know about. The first one up here is subsetting jobs. If I click that, you'll see at the moment that I have no subsetting jobs um, underway at the moment. That's true. I'm not actually running anything on Wekio at the moment. Um, but what this uh, speaks to is actually the use of the harmonized data access um, API that I was talking about before. We'll have a look at that now through a graphical um, user interface that we have here. Um, on Wekio under data, if you click there, you'll find yourself entering this data discovery portal. Now, this allows you to quickly visualize some of the products that are available in Wekio and also to do some um, subsetting activities. And when we say subsetting in this sense, uh, what we mean is that you can uh, cut the different data sets in space and time and extract them. Uh, not all of them in space and time, but a lot of them you can. Through the uh, data discovery portal here, you can explore and look for different data sets and uh, see what's there that may suit your needs for your different applications. If you click on the layer section up here, you'll see the catalog. And this is where all the different data sets that are available through Wekio and from Copernicus in general are listed. Um, you can look by the different services from the different satellite data platforms, uh, the sensors that are available on the different satellites, and also by region, time period, and various uh, thematic tags that may also be useful for you. So I'm going to look at one of my favorite types of data. This is the satellite that I primarily work with, Sentinel-3. And I particularly like to work with the ocean, land, and color instrument data. So I'm going to look for some of that. And I'm going to select this product here, which is the Ulchi, which is the sensor aboard Sentinel-3 Ocean Colorful Resolution product. And if I click Add to Map, and then if I remove these now as well, you'll see some examples of this data. Now, this is actually the uh, integrated data of the last week, just to give you an idea of what this product looks like. It's delivered in these swaths, as you'll see here. This is a whole week's worth of those overlaid. So I can do some subsetting with this data. If I click on the little subsetting button here, I'm able to set different conditions. So I can actually draw an area of interest like this. Um, I can then copy that into here. I can decide when I would like to look for data. So I could look, for example, over this uh, last couple of days. I can also add in some other information here if I need it, but mostly what I would like to do is search by sort of space and time. And then I can click request data. And you can see here now that my request has been sent and it's completed very quickly. 
And in here, you can see that I've now got some results so I can actually order this data. So I can download this data as well to my local machine. I don't have to be within the Wekio uh, infrastructure always to use it. You can just download it to your local machine as you like as well. You can also see here in this button, the API request. So effectively what I created here was uh, a request uh, behind the scenes this gets sent off to all the Wekio infrastructure. It goes around and gets the data from all the different places that it's stored and brings it back to the central place for me. So I could use this same request in a code based way. So in a piece of programming that I was writing and I don't need to go through this graphical user interface every time, but it's useful to be able to do both. But that's just one example of how you can use the harmonized data access that Wekio is built upon. So let's go back and look at another way that you can use both the harmonized data access and the Wekio infrastructure. As I mentioned before, Wekio also is built upon these different um, cloud processing um, computing resources that you can also use. So you don't have to be on your own computer to work with the data. You can use the internet to basically go to another computer that's held within the Wekio infrastructure to run some different analyses. Uh, one way you can do this, and this is available for free for everybody through the essential uh, registration package that you um, will have signed up for, is the JupyterHub. So if I click JupyterHub in my dashboard, this opens the Jupyter Lab environment that you see here. And this is basically a small environment where you as an individual person can work with um, Python programming languages to analyze data that's held within the Wekio environment. So you can use this to make calls to the harmonized data access, as I showed you before, using those um, API requests. And then you can do some analysis in this. And all this is happening on a computer away from your own. So in this Jupyter Lab environment, I've got a selection of different tools and notebooks that I've been developing. Um, this is part of my work towards the Wekio training events that we're going to be doing in the upcoming months. And you can see these here. You can open one of them. This is an example, just a quick uh, welcome notebook that I've been working on. And there's also various other ones that I've got here where I'm looking at using different data sources and making different requests to the harmonized data access. This example here shows you how to use the Harmonized Data Access API. Um, there's various bits and pieces of information in here, links to uh, further information about the data access principles. But the crucial thing about these notebooks is that not only are they uh, descriptive and informative, but you can actually execute computer programming code within them. So you see here within these Jupyter notebooks, you have these boxes and this allows you to execute basically programming code to do different things. In this case, to develop um, a search for certain data in the um, Harmonized Data Access API. Now, if you run a search like that in this Jupyter environment, you will have access to a specific data set that you've requested, and then you can do whatever you like with it. You can write your own Jupyter notebooks um, by starting new ones in the Jupyter Lab here, or you can use some of the ones that we'll provide you with. Um, for example, the ones that I've been working on here using um, Sentinel-3 data will allow you to have a look at Sentinel-3 Ulti data, the data that I was also looking at in the web portal. So this is just an example of the sorts of things you can do in here. And this uh, space is primarily for testing out new approaches, for getting familiar with how to work the Harmonized Data Access API. So this is a really good way of getting a quick look at some images, of testing different analyses, and seeing if Wekio is the sort of environment that you want to work with further. Once you've explored the Wekio environment um, through the things we've just talked about, through the data discovery and through the Jupyter Hub, you may have come to a point where you think, I've worked with a couple of images and this is really useful for me and I need to scale this up. So I want to apply what I've just been testing to the entire archive of a specific type of satellite data. Or maybe you want to compare what you've been working on with the satellite data to some of the model data that's available through the Copernicus services. And to do this, you need um, a bigger computer environment to work with. So Wekio you can then use to move into um, a full sort of hosted processing environment where you run through virtual machines. And these virtual machines are available depending on the size for free for a certain amount of time to enable you to test out your ideas and see if they're really something you want to invest in longer term. So from the dashboard, you can also then work with your virtual machines. So for me, I click there and can open the Morpheus dashboard which looks something like this. And you can see here that I've got an instance of a virtual machine running and I've been using this for different training activities so that I can have a computer environment that's specifically tailored for me to work with 20, 30, 40 trainees at a time. This is my particular use case, but many other people are using these kind of virtual machines um, to provide large scale services for commercial partners or for government and policy initiatives as well. With access to the virtual machines that Wekio can offer, you can effectively scale up your use of Copernicus data as large as you like. And you don't then have to worry about having the computing infrastructure in your own office, in your own institution, or in your own home even. 
the um, system administration and everything that goes along with creating this sort of computing infrastructure is taken care of by Wekio for you. So you can worry about doing the work that you need to do. And with the free trial periods, you can try it for yourself. If you're interested in what Wekio has to offer, or if you're already a user and have some questions, you can use the support tab on the website here to ask questions to our help desk and they'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of all the different things that Wekio can offer. Please keep an eye on the website for more videos coming soon and advertisements for training events where you can join us to learn more about Wekio.